The components required for this experiment are node MC board, motor driver, two DC motors, connecting wires, connecting cable and two tires. Log into the Blink.cloud website. Go to Templates page and click on New Template. Here give the template name. And select the hardware as ESP8266 and connection type as Wi-Fi. And click on Done button. Now go to Data Streams and click on New Data Stream. Here we need to create two virtual pins. For the first one for to control the speed of the first motor and second one to the to control the speed of the second motor. Give the name and select the pin number as V1 and data type as double and select the maximum value as 255. Click on create button. Now create the second pin for the second motor. Select the pin as V2, data type as double and maximum value was 255 and click on create button. Now we need to create 4 more variables to control the motor. Now again click on new data stream and select the digital pin and here give the name motor1 in forward direction and select the pin number as 5. So this pin number we need to select based on the variables which we declared in the code. Here we declared D1. So the corresponding GPIO pin is 5. So I am selecting 5 and click on create button and click new data stream again and select digital and this one is to turn the motor in the backward direction. So here we need to select the pin as 4. Because we selected the pin D2 and the corresponding GPIO pin is 4. And click on create. Now create two more variables for the second motor. Now go to web dashboard and drag two slider widgets. and then drag 4 switch widgets now go to settings and here select motor 1 and select the data stream this is for motor 1 and now click save now go to the settings of the second slider and enter the name as motor 2 and select motor 2 from the data stream now go to the settings of switch widget and here we need to give the name as M1 forward direction and select the data stream and click save. And for the second one we need to select M1 reverse and select the corresponding data stream and click on save button. Likewise we need to do for the second motor. Now click on save button. Now go to the search button and click on new device and then click from template and select the template which we created and click on create button. Now copy this template ID, device name and authentication token and paste in your program. Now we need to upload the program to the node MCU board. For that select the board from tools, board, 
ESP8266 and select node MC 1.0 and then select the port and now click this arrow button and upload the program to the node MCU board now we can set up the mobile dashboard first download the blink application from the play. now open the blink application and here we can see the template which we created in the blink web dashboard click on this template now go to settings and click on this plus button and add two sliders we need to do the same steps which we followed in the web dashboard and then add four buttons now click on the first slider and select the data stream this is for motor 1 and now click on the second slider and select the data stream for motor 2 and now click on the first button and here also we need to select the data stream as M1F and button mode as switch follow the same for the next three buttons Now the mobile dashboard setup is completed and we can check the output.